In this video, we're going to talk about why it's an awful time to start an Airbnb. The pandemic allowed some short-term owners to experience a dream run. Places were booked solid and prices were high as families were desperate to get away, often to really rural places. In particular, during the pandemic, you saw a lot of people interested in visiting rural, outdoorsy places like Lake Arrowhead, Palm Springs, Joshua Tree, Sedona, Napa, Park City, and Fort Worth. Some of these places got super popular and commanded absurdly high prices, sometimes two or three times what they saw before the pandemic. I'm talking about $500 a night to rent a teepee house in Joshua Tree, or $800 a night to rent a cabin in Lake Arrowhead, or $1,000 a night to rent a house in Yosemite. Here are three reasons that led to the surge in Airbnb supply. Number one, during the pandemic, demand for second homes doubled. Number two, there was an increase in appetite for Airbnbs as profits were off the charts. This attracted a lot of investors. And three, lastly, lending standards were relaxed as new Airbnb or investor loans allowed buyers to buy places without verifying any income. These loans are called DSCR loans and people could get them based on the expected rental income of a place. And rates were really low, making them really attractive. In some areas like Joshua Tree, Palm Springs, Sedona, Big Bear, Fort Worth, the number of Airbnbs has doubled or tripled from pre-pandemic. Overall, more people than ever are using Airbnbs, but some people are not happy with the company. Here are the top reasons why travelers are pissed off about their experience with Airbnb. Number one, bait and switch. They look at the site and they see $200 a night, and then they go to book and the fees pile in and some of them are outrageous. That $200 a night goes to nearly $400 a night. For example, that $200 a night could add easily $125 for cleaning plus $75 in fees from Airbnb. And you don't see that until the last page. Chores. Some Airbnb owners got carried away with requesting guests to do chores upon their departure. For example, strip the bed, do the laundry, take out the trash, vacuum, and do the dishes. It just got out of control. The value proposition for hotels got better. Hotels have seen a surge in Airbnb demand, and they started marketing their own advantages. Free housekeeping, year-round heated pools, and no extra charges for using AC or towels. In a lot of cases, Airbnbs have become more expensive than going to hotels. And it's just not worth it for some people anymore. Getting reviewed and judged. A social rating system. A lot of people just don't like this. After all, who wants to get judged? Consistency. All it takes is one bad experience where you show up to a place and it's not what you were expecting. Classic bait and switch. It happens all the time with Airbnb. Here's seven reasons why it can absolutely suck to be an Airbnb owner right now. Travel trends have changed. Now that the pandemic is over, people don't want to go to some of the rural places that were huge during the pandemic. If you were stuck inside for two years, why would you want to go to Joshua Tree and pay $500 a night to stay in a teepee house all by yourself? The supply of Airbnbs has increased dramatically, especially in those pandemic vacation zones. When investors saw people paying $500 a night to stay in a teepee or Airstream, what do you think happened? Tons of new supply. Travelers are pissed and moving back to hotels. Cities are getting nasty with their regulations and neighbors are uniting. Utility costs have soared. Electricity and gas prices have increased dramatically. Some places that have a pool have to justify paying $800 a month for pool heating. No joke, some owners in Palm Springs are paying $800 a month to heat their pool. Cleaning costs have gone up. This is just a classic tale of su supply and demand and shortage of labor. Lots of competition on Airbnb. There's more supply. You got to up your game. You just can't get away with a mediocre experience. If you add all this up, it's harder than ever to run a profitable short-term rental. Bottom line, Airbnb is still getting new users, but it's more competitive than ever. You can still be profitable, but just don't expect it to be easy. Make sure you, kn you know what you're getting into before buying. Don't expect to rent a place for 25 days a month in the beginning. It takes time to build reviews and get a good reputation. It's hard to be hands-off with Airbnb. Even if you have a management company, be prepared to get a call Sunday morning about sewage backup. One of the biggest misconceptions owners have is that this can be a turnkey business. Even if you have a management company, it's not turnkey you are going to have to be hands-on. It's a business. You have to get involved. Thanks so much for watching my video. I'm going to have plenty more. Please subscribe if you enjoyed it. Thanks so much.